boom, faints. Bah, you know, then come into your move. Then it's, oh, it's real. Because in real boxers, you see them, you know. Yeah. And you think they're going to come with a jab. And then, bam, you know, they're right and left. So, best thing, like, now how I train is how I do choreography. It should be the same. It shouldn't be that, oh, if I really fight, I fight like this. But in the movies, I fight like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Train how you fight, fight how you train. Then when you come to do choreography, it's real. Like, if I always practice throwing hooks for your jaw, mm -hmm. I don't want to learn to hook here, I don't want to learn to hook here. It means we can train pad work for real, and it will be useful if you ever have to fight or spar. And it will be useful for a film. You know what I mean? Not yeah. thinking... Oh, now we're film fighting, I need to punch like this, and I have to do it super wide. The problem with Hong Kong punching, everyone's punching like this. Oh, yeah. So you can well, throw a hook, 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 hook. It never blocks like this. Yeah. Because... You pause any Hong Kong film, the punch looks like this. Yeah. And you're like, there's no intention, I don't believe that this goon is trying to inflict damage. I'm punching, and another thing, depth. Most punches in film fighting end here, so put it'll block up. If you pause any Kung Fu fight, it's here. And you think, he could have not blocked at all, and it wouldn't have hit him. I'm not even in range. Right. Much better if I step, you come forwards a bit, if I step forward, so he has to step back and block. So step back and then do the block. Boom! Now it looks like I was trying to hit him, because I've come forwards and he's had to react and block, rather than having him stand there like Neo in the Matrix, <laughs> and me just go, ah, so, 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 and him just stand there like this, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's just little deep, make it real, then you don't have to think about pretending, then you can be in the fight, and you feel that danger, because the distance is real, you know? But yeah. most choreographers are shit. I'm sorry, most choreographers working in Hollywood, even big films, they're not... What is, what is your training, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> That's him tapping to his Satsuma Hado. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um, you mean what martial arts do I do? Or how do I train? What's your regimen? What's your regimen? Yeah. Um, because I, I, I can't do 26 years of martial arts right now. So, pad work, is, pad work is your distancing. So little things, nice things about pad work that you should, that I change. So again, I'll use you good stuff. So, good things for pad work. Don't hold your pads here. The reason they hold pads wide is to teach beginners how to punch yeah. with their legs with and their to legs. twist. Exactly, yeah, that's what I like. But once that. you've learned that basic, you have to make think. In reality, mm -hmm. if I'm punching him, both hands are going to the same target, his chin. So if I throw a jab, it's going for his chin. If I throw a cross, it's going for his chin. If I throw a hook. So now it becomes stupid to start punching like this. So many times I get a new screen fighter. I say, right, give me jab, cross. They go like this. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you punching? You've done a boxer size class where someone's doing this and now you think you can box. I'm like, fucking come here. Aim for my forehead. If I get here, it's my fault. Don't be giving me this shit because I don't know where your fists are going now, you know? Yeah. Punch straight. If you punch, if you punch, aim for my chest, jab, cross, boom, boom. Now I can, now I instantly, I've never fought him. I know where his hands are going to be. And also, again, so if I say try, try and punch my chest, boom, boom, so I know the distance now that I need to step back. I can see the length of his arms. So if we come again, boom, boom, bam. Now we're getting real. And then we can start speeding it up. And then I may say, right, come deeper. So I have to really move, you know what I mean? So pad work, keep your pads close. I jab cross here, so it teaches you to punch centrally. Reach is important. A lot of people that do pad work, they stand too close. If I have my pads here and you jab cross, look, his arms never extend. He's right. always bent elbow. But the reality when you're fighting, no one's ever going to let you stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and punch with them. You're always going to start outrange. 
So you're going to have to learn to jab full extension. Learn to lean. Bam. So if you see jab cross from the side, boom, boom. Can you see how I'm hitting full yeah. reach? Yeah. Some people I say jab cross. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like you need to learn how to get range on stuff. For hooks, another thing. A lot of so if you say jab cross, boom, boom. Now if I hold a, a lot of people hold their hook here. So hook, lead hook. But this is wrong. Hold your pads where the target is. So this, if he hooked me for real, he's going for my jaw or for my temple. So I hold the pad in line with this side of my face. So it teaches him the reality of where he's going to hook. Right. And I try not to hold the pads like out far. I hold them close to my body sometimes. So when he hooks, he can actually look at my head. Look at my jaw and punch just in front. So it makes his reflexes realistic. He's not thinking, oh, pad work is to hit some weird shapes that are held like this and here. here. I'm holding it close to my body, yeah. So then eventually you can do bare hand pad work. So then that's a good thing for choreography after you used to do the pads. Right. So say this is pads, jab cross. Boom, boom. So jab cross hook, gone. Boom, boom, boom. And again. Boom, boom, boom. So now we can make this more choreography rather than pads. So jab cross. Yep. Boom, boom, and then hook. So one, two, three. Yeah, one, two, three. Sorry, so let's start again. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. So now we draw again. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. So now I'm, I'm almost. You, whoever uses the pads, it's good practice for parrying and, and blocking in fights because you are learning those instincts. Do you see what I mean? So I could hold jab cross again. Boom. Jab cross again. Okay. Boom, boom, and then hook. So we'll see how I'm slipping. Again, jab cross hook, boom, boom, boom. And again, boom, boom, boom. So now if I make that blocks, come again. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You know, it, your instincts now are the same. Whether I'm holding pads or I'm blocking, it now is realistic. So train your boxing as close to reality. Line up the targets with your intended target on the real body. And train your, like Bruce Lee said, train your legs like your our hands. Your lead leg, if you're a right leg kicker, most people uh, kick with their right leg. They either put their right leg in front or they only kick with their right. Train your left leg more than your right because your left leg is like your jab. It's your it's lead, your lead yeah. round or your lead side kick. You know, you need to put combos together. Pam, 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 pam. Then your legs and hands just interchange it's like you have four arms so you have to learn to connect your legs to your body so you can go jab pump side one two round and it just flows for combos like other things punches should be like a pulley system as my jab is coming back my right's coming forward it shouldn't be jab cross jab cross hook uppercut hook boom boom and then with legs again, jab. I replace the jab with a round kick. I replace the round kick with a cross. I replace the cross with a rear hook kick to the head. So you should almost be no boom, 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 no real gaps. No one uses the kick um, the, the head. Like not really. Like I really like that. Yeah. I think it works. It really Definitely. Works. I mean, rear leg. That's a nice combo. Basic yeah. one that will work. Jab, lead round one, two, whoop, and hook. But you want to mean to come up that way after a hook is nice, you know? So... I'll steal this. <laughs> That's going to be my training. Yeah. Other cool stuff, like if you're into back kicks, doing something different, mm -hmm. like the Donnie Yen jump back kick, you could go things, jab, cross, hook, mm -hmm. bam, off the same leg. Do you know what I mean? So things, someone could... You could jab, cross, side kick, from here, boom, just off the standing leg, jump, split, back kick. It's different, boom, you know what I mean? Give it rhythm. But it's really? Just <laughs> I'm so glad I asked you. Wow. But this, it makes sense, right? It's logical. Yes. Make yes. your training logical. It, really it should be, you should fight how you do screen fighting. And practicing people's, even for trapping, right? Let's take traditional kind of Wing Chun stuff. You know, you need to learn all the kind of basics of this stuff. 
you know, whether you're doing Filipino Kali or straight blasting, but train your trapping from boxing. Because the problem with Wing Chun people is they're always fighting Wing Chun people. So of course it looks good. Yeah. What is called what is called those kind of like garden trapping. Trapping trapping. So Wing Chun which has more straight blast stuff and Filipino Kali, Filipino Kali. which is like knife fighting. Right. But yeah. has comes yeah. more angles. Yeah. Um, but train it from boxing, because then it's hard. So if he jabs, but bring a jab back again. Boom. See, it's hard to catch a jab. Come again. I come again. Boom. It's so easy to train to trap against the. Uh, ah, you have to be so quick and almost intercept it. You have to roll over his jab to make it work. You know what I mean? If you're only practicing trapping from fucking here. <laughs> You get complacent, then some boxer comes with a real snappy jab. And surprises and you're, 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 you, you can't knocks you off, yeah. I think that would be hilarious to do that choreo. So yeah. Put the, all those, like, you know, boxer versus something. Like the boxer that's it, man versus Darren Shalabi right there. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, so train, learn your traditional stuff. Because everyone loves, like, wants to be in these kind of stances. <laughs> but to learn trapping to work, Make it part of your boxing. It's like Jika, like Bruce Lee, what he arrived at is the logical progression of, I think, any martial artist is economy of motion. If you're going to be able to trap, you shouldn't have to suddenly change to this stance to be right. able to trap. You should be able to trap from here. This is a scientifically, your elbows are protecting your ribs, your hands are protecting your jaws you have head movement, you have waist movement, this is a good way to fight. So if you can't trap from here, forget about it, you know? And um, there's so much to do, but with, you know, there's so much to do with... No, I'll start from there. Kicking. But yeah, it's, it's, um, it's fun to do. And then playing around with, you know, like, Filipino, Kali, Arnes, and... Uh, Kisi fighting methods, stuff like that. Yeah. They love all of this. They love all of these head positions, you know? But some talking Batman is endless. <laughs> MI3, yeah. But the useful is trying to learn where these blocks come from. So if 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 he does a jab cross slowly, boom, boom. See I spike I spike his hand. And again, boom, boom. You know, then you can learn to trap. So boom, I slide here. Now you can come again, jab cross, boom, boom. You can slide here, then you could go to a trap. You see what I mean? From here. Or you can come round, figure a four. There's a million things you can do, but to learn these, so again, boom, boom. You could come up here, then you've got him round, here. You see what I mean? That is brilliant. But you have to, so yes, again, you could, you could do the same position on the inside. So you're spiking his face, it will stop him there and then weaving around, you know? Thank you for being a fantastic... Yay! Wow! But you know what I mean? Then you can use this stuff occasionally, just put the odd bit in, but have it functional, do you know what I mean? Because it's, what it's nice for, for a jab cross, is sliding here. Then you can come across, bam, kidney shot, bam, into, you know, takedown. Take down. And then it's nice, but the problem with something like Batman, his hands are on his head almost permanently. Yeah. Everything is like this has become a gimmick, right? Yeah. Use it just here and there. So, oh, what was that? That looked cool, you know? Not standing there with your hand on your head <coughs> waiting for someone. <laughs> that's um, Thank you. And that was your fight correct with your by Joey Anza. <laughs> Go to streetfighteraf.com for more info. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're Tell welcome. You. You'll get me all excited now on martial arts stuff, but... It's been an epic evening. It is epic evening yeah. for me, at least. <laughs> 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 no, it's just wow, brilliant. Thank great. you. Yeah, and kicking. Like, learn every style of kicking. You know, Muay Thai... People, again, because of UFC, everyone suddenly becomes obsessed with what everyone does in UFC. So, of course, you're... Book house and your your teep teep the Muay Thai teep is such lead teep is such a good move, but learn the difference between the styles of Thai kicking. 
in which they don't chamber. Like chambering is this. Right. Yeah. Right? That's a very Taekwondo and Karate. But even the difference between Taekwondo and Karate chamber. So like Taekwondo side kick is more chamber up and extend, you know, here, spum. Whereas karate side kick can come across more. Yes. And there's they, there's a bit more twist. So it's learning all the different types of kicking. So in choreography, I'm like, give me a Muay Thai, hook out to the shin, teep, but put in a bit more of a capoeira, Ben sound vibe to it, and then come in with a big karate side kick. And you should be able to switch between Thai style of kicking, Korean style of kicking, um, Japanese style of kicking, like that. If all you can do is kick one way, then I'm like, or they're like, give me a lead round kick, boom! And they're like, oh, I can only kick with my right leg. And it's like, oh, you're fucked. So train everything, you know? Train everything good so you can lead hook, to be able to jab and hook their head, same hand, same leg, boom, boom! Jump back kick, bam, you know, pump side kick. Yeah, I've just been trying to train my left because it's garbage. I, I, for a while I was like, fuck, my left is really not good. And chambers are so key, side kick looks so nice if you have a high chamber extension, high chamber down. A lot of people kick and let their leg drop. That's me right I there. Think <laughs> I think that's um, the one time that I have to kick the uh, Megan, Fox, Megan Fox characters yeah. and they wanted me not to be, they, they don't want me to be pretty. They I'm sure, they want it to look messy, rough. Be, yeah. yeah, strong. Yeah, yeah. And I couldn't figure it out how, but like I did it somehow, but yeah. it's chamber yeah. and kick and bring it back to chamber. Yeah. It somehow makes like a little bit more stronger yeah. than my guy just being ballerina. It's just like my kick is like, okay, Grace, yeah. pretty, like hard. But it's like that's about it. But so. you're the great thing, your flexibility, being a ballerina, can you still get your leg up? I don't know how far it could go. Demonstration. Wait. I don't know how far it goes because it's also this is James. I'm recording now, so. I can keep your head full, but. I'm a brother of the jeans, I can't. I'll be over here. Nice. It still can bring it this leg, it's not more here. Perfect. Yay! Wonderful. So you. Skills! But when you go up, so here, the channel. Tickle. Yeah, for for side kick, for side kick chain, but I'll, I'll keep the foot in line with your. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that would be side, side, side kick chain would be here. Uh, okay. Uh, Eighteen minutes. Well, the foot. I got plenty of units. Uh, I do right leg as well. So I think the foot should be in line with your leg. So my foot's not here. It's in line. If it, if you put it next to. Yeah. So imagine your foot's next to the other one. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. And foot position is so key. To, if anyone says they can kick, the first thing I look for is how do they chamber and what's their foot position. That's how you can tell. Someone that kicks with a loose or club foot, you're like, you're not a kicker. When you see someone have a really nice blade, so side kick would be here, round kick. There. Hook kick I prefer pointed. Yeah. Some people hook with the heel, but you don't have as much range. And I feel that a pointed toe promotes a leg moving better. If you if you contract your anterior tibialis, it's slower. It's like the muscle is fighting the direction of your kick. But yeah, side kick is the hard one for people to, to get used to. That position was for what Sokogeri, Yokogeri. Yokogeri, Yokogeri. Yeah. But yeah. Hey Gaku. Yeah. Hey Kazu. I'll be ready. Yeah. Kimmy will be ready. Uh, we'll I'll be ready. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was good. Oh my god, it feels so bad. But, but it's so yeah, good. no, it's cool. It's cool. But then you can always Yeah. No. <laughs> it's just constantly grow and improve and study yeah. stuff, and then yeah, yeah. and then you improve, and yeah. that, then you'll start to look at so much choreography and just go, oh god, yeah. there's dead space. The punches are like this. They're not punching deep. They're punching here. 
it though. You know, yeah. I just cheat and I go three fourths. So I was like, fuck, we can't do it. All right, I'm getting over here. But then it's trust, isn't it? Like if you're getting that level of distance, you really need to trust each other. Um, and learning to slip, because look, so slipping, boxing, hips stay where they are, it's all from your waist. So yeah, so opposite hands to shoulder. Opposite. So this when you're coming down? This hand, exactly. So, so that would dodge that, and then the other way, boom. You see what I mean? So if you throw, do a slow jab cross. Okay. Start with this one, your left. Oh, okay. Boom, cross. boom. So come for my forehead. Both the boom, boom. And again. Boom, boom. And you see how now I'm coming, come, boom, boom. So it looks much more dangerous if the punch is here. Because it's like, if I didn't move, you would have punched right through my head. Blocking your punch here doesn't look that dangerous. Blocking your punch here looks very dangerous if it's going right past your head. So if you lean that way, I'm going to punch you. If I do a cross, this way, right? But intercept the punch. So very slowly, do a cross. Give a cross at me. But try and do it slowly, but try and punch my head. Boom. So the first thing that comes up is my hands to intercept. And I remember, I'm not blocking you. I'm just changing the course of your fist from here by one inch and I move my head slightly so you don't feel like I've moved your hands if you punch then you feel it's very subtle come again quicker Boom. but come from my head and again and again so you want to get your slipping eventually with your partner you should be able to try and punch them in the forehead boom boom and they should be zoom, 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 zoom. and you can do it on the spot you can do it back, you can do it wow. forwards. Do you know what I mean? So if I punch your forehead, so slowly. Okay, so this one, this one's first one. Right? No, you had it right the first time. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I was right. Good. Boom. And then, yeah. Move your head as little as possible, just enough to avoid the punch. So almost, when I'm, when I, when I'm throwing a jab, hold on, so the jab is there. That's your jab, I'm going right hand. Okay, so uh, you're going to go that way. So the first thing, okay, so as the jab is coming, keep your head where it is to start with. Start to, don't push this way, pull. Pull diagonal over your shoulder. Almost pull it over your shoulder. Do you see what I mean? There you go. And then lean your head to the side, a bit. Yeah, see, now you can be closer. Boom. And then, so they do the same with this as well. So, one, two. Yeah, so just it's like this. Yeah, it's more like a circle pulling it over your shoulder. Yeah, so, boom, boom. Yeah, so now you can be closer and you can keep your eyes on me. Yeah. And then you so I practice with hands, but then people get too reliant on hands. So they're trying to swap. So then I practice hands by your sides. And you need to. <laughs> the Muhammad yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. Now try leaning forwards. Four. Yeah, so. Okay. One, two. Exactly. So now you could come, zoom, 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 zoom. You see what I mean? Towards awesome. someone. They could be going, ba, 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 and you can be. <laughs> and you can go low or high. Yeah, so this stuff is cool. So work your slip hip. Yes. Yeah. This is different. Yeah. You guys had all this like for an entire like three months or wow. six months, right? Yeah, and then suddenly you're like, wow, I can move, you know? And there's so much boxing footwork on the toes to move with side kicks, like pumping chambers, to be able to just pump across. Yeah. Because everyone does a skip step, everyone does a Bruce Lee yeah. skip, but you see that coming. The moment someone's feet go, boom, you're going to react. But if I'm here and I just pump across, it's non-telegraphed, you know? Yes. Okay. So it's, you kind of lift the knee and twist. You twist the foot and push across. But don't skip. Lift the knee first. Lift the knee first. Then pump. There you go, yeah. <laughs> so you then you almost do it at the same time. That is good. But it's a difference. This is different to I see. this. Yeah, now I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you kick like that, you can cover like three meters and kick someone. If Lee stands farther back, 
I would be comfortable from here to easily pump side kick him, probably before he would react. I won't smack you for real, but from here, boom, you can cover big distance, you know, without it. Whereas if I'm here and I go, you can tell something's coming, right? Exactly. Your instant reaction is to sense up. <laughs> but if I'm here playing around here, swarm, you don't really see that pump. Right. So suddenly a big distance is covered and you're like, fuck. Yeah. You know? Really young. Us. Us. Sugoi us. Us. So the roll us. Yeah, practice the boxing. Boxing and head movement, body movement suddenly makes you look like a fighter. If you're all stiff like this, you're like, you don't fight. You know? My, my lower issue is like, I got the stance of this. I guess Hands and all that. I'm going to yeah. stand like ballerina. So, like yeah. that to here. Yeah, I think bo do a lot of hand work, and your hands are always going to be because the reason boxers do this, this protects my body. If you jab to my body, I'm covered. So, so, this is protecting my face. This shoulder's up against my chin. That's why some boxers, and even Bruce Lee, the, this the stance is a, a modified boxing stance where your shoulder comes up, so if you jab at me, boom, I've got my shoulder to protect my chin, you know what I mean? And this hand can drop to protect my body, especially if you're kicking as well. This movement protects your body, exactly. So if I go for your body, your arm is at least protecting your, your ribs, you know? Then you have like the Mike Tyson peekaboo, where he's literally, Mike Tyson's body movement is so good, he would stalk it, bam, 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 from here and hide behind his glove, so he's willing to take jabs on his forehead. Mike Tyson's whole thing, he'll come in like this. He doesn't care if you're unloading, because your forehead's hard, right? Yeah. But he'll come in close, almost shoulder square, so his left and right oh. hands are the same distance. If you're more like a Lennox Lewis defensive boxer, you keep your jab shoulder forwards, so you have more reach. But now your right is further away. It's harder, so a true boxer doesn't throw their right very often. It's all about jab. Measurement. Klitsch Klitschko, something like that. Jab, jab, jab all day and occasionally, boom. Yeah. Whereas a Tyson wants to come in. So he's, his shoulders are square, so he's right, bam, bam, can be put in the fight straight away. And that's yeah. terrifying because both his weapons are the same distance from you as uh. each other. Whereas if you're a boxer like this, you know that about the jab game. You yeah. Know? So study fights, study boxer styles, and see the technique, and look at the the benefits of each posture. Um, so the Jeet Kune Do stance is interesting because it's it's a weird mixture. Muay Thai stance traditionally, both legs, feet are forwards. Boxing stance is more sort of 45 degrees. The Jeet Kune Do stance, if you read Tao of Jeet Kune Do, is almost Toes on the back foot, lead foot side on. Yeah. So it's a weird kind of mix. So you can push off the back foot, but you know, he's got this one for lead sides and stuff. Bruce likes his lead rounds and lead sides and stuff. But I really want to do this thing. <laughs> thing? It's awkward, the pumps. So lift up yeah. the leg like brings you over here. Yeah, the weight transfer. So you need to almost lift your knee lift. so oh. it makes you want to step. Then when you hop, see, yeah. So almost lean forwards with a pump like this. I lean forwards, so you have to hop to catch your catch yourself. I really want to make sure that that so position is like right next to this. Okay. You can touch. You can practice sometimes touching the inside. If you can do that. Because like the chamber that I learned is like this one. But that's more. Ja it depends. So Japanese side kick again. Watch. Yeah, if it doesn't I look strong. When I do it, it doesn't look strong. I think if you're hold if you're holding a chamber, it needs to be in front. If you're in movement, so Japanese. Look at the difference. If I do Yokogeri from the back leg, karate one here, then they come out. Like Wondo one here and comes out. You see the difference. Karate one comes across, so you get more hips. You can get more push, almost like a back kick, but it takes a little longer. But no, because like bring. I always like bring this one. Yeah, I think bring the knee more up. Yeah, I think up here. Look, looks 
And then it's nice because this is like a guard. If this is here, it is. it's it's intimidating to try and come forwards, you know. Um, and even Van Damme gave a good thing saying, Van Damme's chamber is so good. He's yeah. got Van Damme's younger, his knee is up level with his face. Yeah. And he's like, as long as your knee is higher than the foot... You can protect you, yourself. Yeah, and you have gravity. If you have a high chamber, when I extend, I have gravity helping push the weight of my leg down. Right. If you have a low chamber... So it's almost like if I'm here and you come walk towards me, you have a bit more stability. If my chamber's low, he'll push me off my feet right. better. So if you have a high chamber above the height of your target and you can push down, bam, you get a lot more force, you know? And it just looks cool. Nice chambers look. Yeah, it does. So a lot of stretching to be able to just stand and get your knee, shoulder. Hold the shoulder. Hold the yeah. Okay. Look at Bill Superfoot Wallace is one of the greatest competitive kickers. Only kicks with his left leg, because he injured his right leg. Oh, right. Amazing chamber. And all his kicks come from the same chamber. Round kick, hook kick, side kick. Super high chamber. I mean, I'm sure you've I've seen the movie, The seen, Protector. Seen. But just look at his fights, like him as a fighter. That's what it was, him and Joe Lewis were like the most successful point karate fighters okay. from back in the day. and. and Bruce Lee taught Joe Lewis for a bit as well. Yeah. You know? I'll look those up. So if there's no partner, like you just do the, the Oh, the name is uh, punching bag. Mm. So you just like doing the same exercise with the punching bag, right? You could. The problem is because it's a big thick thing. It doesn't move with you. In reality, you move forwards, the thing is moving back, whereas the punch bag is there. So, if you're in punching range, you're too close to kick. So you almost need to punch, move back, and kick. It's a different kind of thing. A punching bag, you can work on circular footwork more. But, but try even in the mirror, just working on like extension of your hands, getting full reach with your jabs, you know, yeah. <laughs> and just, and you sound like a girl though. That's kind of annoying. No, that's fine. That's fine. And not all jabs. Obviously, some jabs twist, but this is more a defensive jab because that gives you more range. If you stand, there. so look, twist, twist your your foot out as you jab. Yeah, and stick that out. So that gives you so much. I've got long arms, so I can still hit you. But if you were fighting someone with your arm length, their arm would stop here, and yours would be on their chin. So look at the difference. If I jab shoulders more square here, if I extend. Look how much more range. So if you come and jab me, boom, and you see, you can't touch me, but I've, t I've hit you. So, <laughs> but a lot of people practice jabs like this, but in reality, you always step forwards with a jab. So I would practice stepping forward, stepping forwards with a jab, because that's if you think if you twist back too much with this arm, this is now too far from my chin, it right. takes a long time, I'll see it coming. Right. If you just step forward with your jab, keep this Cut. shoulder closer, uh, now your right is closer. Right. If you want to throw the right hand as well, boom, exactly. So you've got to mix, right. this is more defensive, defensive, this is a more attacking jab. Attacking jab, keep the shoulders square, just step forwards with the jab. Exactly, that's the more attacking jab, and a defensive jab is twist, twist away. Twist away for defensive jab. Defensive, yeah, yes. yeah, exactly. When's the last time you've competed? Oh, since never. Because I didn't really. <laughs> since <stop>. never. Quite <laughs> yes. yes. a, a tricking, <laughs> tricking thing. But because I did taekwondo in Ghana, yeah, I was so far away from the rest of the competitive world that yeah. I couldn't really compete. Oh, okay. And then I did ninjutsu, which isn't a sport, for like over a decade. Then I did capoeira. Right for like five years, which isn't a sport. Do you see, so it's not like I really was training in something that had a big sporting... Um, it was just more of like, just to yeah, get, just get, in, get engaged. Exactly, just training for the sake of 
Um, so the sickling feet like this, right? For um, sidekick. Yeah. Just think, obviously you're striking mainly with the heel on a sidekick, but the good thing about the blade is you can get between the ribs, particularly lead sidekick, the floating ribs, this is going to fit in and hurt a lot. If you do a flat foot, it will push him, it will knock him away but it's not going to maybe break the ribs. If you have a blade, then it's boom, right in there. You know, but heel, I think the heel is, if you hit, it'd be like with your fingers. If you chopped, then you hit with here, it's going to hurt, right? But no force and with, impact, yeah. Yeah, if you hit with the, the edge. So it's the, in ninjutsu, right, you have, um, boom, you have like sh chops. A lot of people think of shito as like this, but a lot of the use for a chop, if you go there, one, uh, a one, two, so boom, 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 is to just slide in. Yeah, boom, like that. So, so yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, you can just, yeah, just think the bridge of someone's nose, that's where a chop, bam, just straight into the... So it's the same as a psychic, if you think. Doing this. Yeah, it, it is the same as... as, 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 as so you can practice striking exactly, but push. Ah! You're you're tough, girl. Come on, give me back. <laughs> push more. Think. Look. So like chamber. Mm -hmm. Extend. Your wrist needs more flexibility. But this part. So as if you're going. Form. Oh, that, that. You see what I mean? This way. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. So imagine you did on someone's nose, All like right. break their nose instantly. Now I got it. This one. Yeah. Do it. Do it to me. Oh! <laughs> go on, go. On. Oh! Go do on. it. Please. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! This is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> we can do it all day. I know. Sorry. All day, all night, till New Year's. <laughs> Martial arts session. Sorry. Thank you. Of it is kind of, quite important for me right now. So. <laughs> yeah. Is that the best feeling? Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I, I, I gotta cut it off, guys. You take it like two months, and you're just gonna like four 